Hey everyone, welcome to Multiverse. I'm Rosal and I'm your Multiverse pal. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click subscribe and also the notification bell for more updates. So today we will be tackling about one of the basic differentiation technique which is the power rule. So let's start. Okay, let's first define the power rule. In which it says here that for any real number n, if y is equal to x raised to n, then our dy over dx is equal to n multiplied by x raised to n. So we now prove this definition. By letting y is equal to x raised to n for any positive integer n, if y is equal to x raised to n, then we have dy over dx is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, where our h approaches to zero. Now we have we have the limit of x plus h raised to n minus x raised to n over h where h approaches to zero. We use the binomial expansion to expand this term. Now we have the limit of quantity x raised to n plus n multiplied by x raised to n minus one multiplied by h plus n quantity n minus one quantity over two permutation times x raised to n minus 2 times h raised to 2 plus n times x times h raised to n plus 1 plus h raised to n quantity minus x raised to n over h where our h is also approaches to 0. Now we combine the like terms. So the like terms here is our x raised to n. So x raised to n minus x raised to n is equal to zero. Now we have this value. And the second one is we factor out our h. Then after that, we cancel out the h. Well, um, if we cancel this h, we get one. So we have the limit of quantity n times x raised to n minus 1 plus n quantity n minus 1 quantity over 2 permutation times x raised to n minus 2 times h plus n times x times h raised to n minus 2 plus h raised to n minus 1. And also our h is approaching to 0. Now, if we have this, we will now get its limit. By getting its limit, we will substitute the value of h to 0. So as you can see, any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So the only function that is left is n times x raised to n minus 1. Therefore, truly that if y is equal to x raised to n, it is true that dy over dx or our derivative is equal to n times x raised to n minus 1 for any real number. And with some special cases, when y is equal to x, then our derivative or dy over dx is equal to dx over dx, which is 1. So let's have an example of getting um, the derivative of a function using our power rule. The problem is for f of x, is equal to x squared and g of x is equal to square root of x and 
now we find f prime x which is our derivative and v prime x and now we have its solution using our formula the power rule n times x raised to n minus 1 we have 2 times x raised to 2 minus 1 since our n is 2 now we have our 2x and since square root of x is equal to x raised to 1 half we have our d prime x is equal to 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1 now the value of n here is 1 half now we get 1 half x raised to negative 1 half and simplifying this we get 1 over 2 times x raised to 1 half or 1 over 2 square root of x or just simply by removing the radical in our denominator we get square root of x over 2x